215 bodies found in an unmarked graves at Mississippi jail. 215 bodies found in unmarked graves, Mississippi jail. Some 215 bodies have been found in a pauper cemetery behind a prison in Hines County, Mississippi. The grave site is intended for people of no known family, but relatives of the deceased say officials failed to contact next of kin, despite some of the deceased having identification. See the markers there. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is representing the families of Mario Moore, Dexter Wade, and Jonathan Hankins, who were all buried in the cemetery without knowledge of their families. The men's mothers are pictured on the right. Mario Moore's family would discover authorities had buried him months ago in the pauper's field after he was found slain on the street early February 2023. His body buried in July. His family says they didn't learn of his death until early October when they saw Moore's name in a list published by CNN affiliate WLBT, 24 homicide victims whose identities had not been publicly disclosed by the Jackson Police Department. Wade was hit and killed by a police vehicle. And although the victim had an identification, Wade's family has not been notified of his death. His family thought Wade was missing until they recently learned he was buried, identified by only a number in the Pauper Cemetery. Again, just outside of Jackson. Jonathan Hawkins' mother, Gretchen, telling Fox affiliate WBLT, it's like they just threw him out like trash, just like they did with the others. Hankins was reported missing by his mother when he didn't return home one weekend in May 2022. After more than a year of his mother working with the Rankin County Sheriff's Office and searching, it would be NBC News who would solve the mystery as part of an investigation into people being buried in the Hines County Pauper's Field. Jonathan had been found dead on May 23rd, 2022, three days after leaving home in a hotel room in nearby Jackson. Investigators quickly verified his identity, but the Hines County Coroner's Office and the Jackson Police Department, which both responded to the scene, failed to tell his family. The county buried him in a grave marked only by a number, 645. Get NBC News with the details. Activist Arthur Reed, who works with Crump, recently visited the gravesite where the deceased, who were in body bags, were placed into shallow graves. Reed telling Fox 26 in an interview, the stench from the bodies are drawing buzzards. Reverend Hosea Hines, pastor of the Christ Tabernacle Church and the national leader for a New Day Coalition of Equity and Black America spoke to the Chicago Crusader, quote, really saddens my heart to know that their relatives went that long, some over a year, not knowing if their loved ones were dead or alive. And then coming to the realization that they had been buried in a pauper's grave behind a jailhouse. According to Hines, Jackson Police Chief Joseph Wade has implemented a new death notification policy that will provide relatives with a notification and details about their loved one's deaths. We're going to talk more about that ridiculous statement. Did you, did you hear that? We've got to talk more about it, and we will. People all across America are scratching their heads in disbelief about what's happening in Jackson, Mississippi, with this pauper's graveyard, Crump said during a press conference. Went from talking about the water that was non existent or contaminated to now we're talking about the graveyard. What is going on? In Jackson, Mississippi, Black Enterprise with Mr. Crump's appropriate statement. Ravana, I just want to have a decent day. But then, so do these mothers, so do these families. It's an abomination. And I want to go back. To what the Jackson police chief Joseph Wade said, does he think we're stupid? Or does he just think that the people are poor and there's nothing they can do about it? We ask because who says something dumb like this? That is the word for it. Chief Wade has implemented a new death notification policy that will provide relatives with a notification and details about their loved one's deaths. 
this is clown like. There is a notification policy, as if you need one. I need to know why these individuals, one killed by a police cruiser, were dumped in shallow graves, now attracting buzzards, and nobody said a word until NBC notified them, really by accident. Your turn. Yeah, when I read that, and then just, and I, I read it before, and then to hear you read it again out loud, both times my jaw dropped. The statement from the police chief is patently absurd. You have the responsibility to do that. Legally, you are obligated to do that <laughs> already. So the idea that there needed to be a new policy put in place for them to notify the families about the, their loved one's deaths is absurd. And you're right, he thinks that the people hearing it are stupid. He thinks that they're stupid and if and he must be stupid if he thinks that that's gonna work. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous statement. I will say that Ben Crump being on the case is the best thing that could happen yeah. for the families of these victims. He is an excellent attorney, tireless advocate, and uh, you know somebody I look up to in the uh, mm-hmm. legal field and in the field of civil rights. Um, there is a conversation that needs to be had about the fact that a woman in Ohio is being prosecuted for uh, desecrating mm. a corpse mm. for having a miscarriage. And yeah. these police, uh, in one case, they killed one of these people. They killed him and they threw him in a shallow grave behind yep. the jailhouse. They found these dead bodies. The families for some of these victims were actively searching for them. And with apparently, <laughs> and, and it's the fact that they, they were identified. The, mm-hmm. Some of these people died with their IDs in their pockets. They were identified by the police. They threw them in a shallow grave. And when the families came looking for them, they acted ignorant. They yep. played ignorant like they had no idea what was going on. But I th- I think it is a testament to the tireless work of also journalists mm-hmm. for uncovering this at a time where journalism is under attack in this country. Um, journalists are being laid off in massive numbers from uh, the networks and for the organizations that they work for. But without journalists, these families still wouldn't know what happened to their loved ones. The police weren't going to help them. The police were the ones that did it. So, you know, so many things to talk about here, but I still, I'll never be able to get over that statement from the police chief. Despicable, despicable. Raise your hand if you're human, okay? Uh, this is so ignorant. Nobody, I didn't want nobody in that department to raise your hand, by the way. This is pathetic. Grieving, crying, desperate mothers. This is a crime. I want to know more about the police cruiser incident that killed Mr. Wade. Mm -hmm. I'm sure his family does. So we're not going to let go of the story. And as you mentioned, neither will Ben Crump. He will, I can say with assurance, get the family's compensation. But I want charges. 215 bodies, tip of the iceberg, these details. We'll continue to follow it right here on Indisputable. Do not raise your hand. Do not raise your hand.